Happy Halloween. <laughs> the time has come to decorate for Halloween. This is the second year. Sorry, my camera is currently possessed by a ghost, but I'm sure he will let me record this YouTube video. Hello, hi, there we go. Like I was saying, this is the second year that we decorate Casa Marzoa for Halloween. My name is Daniel Marzoa, proud father to twin boys. And in this video, it's a decorate with me for Halloween. Last year, we went all out for the first time, but this year our boys are two and we have to do something a little interactive so they can also get involved in the Halloween spirit. Last year was so much fun. Some of the neighbors got into the Halloween spirit and I will link that video down below. So without further ado, let's get this video started. So if you have been following our channel for a while, you will know that for the boys' first birthday, I made styrofoam trees. They were huge. They were about eight feet tall. I cut them out. I painted them. And then for the actual birthday, we hung balloons on them and they were beautiful. Last year for Halloween, I used them and I hung moss on them and they were the focal point of last year's Halloween decorations. So this year they have survived. Thank God. I want to give them a fresh coat, a new look to get ready for this year's Halloween. So is Halloween your favorite holiday? Because I love Halloween. I love any excuse to decorate and to dress up. Let me know down in the comments if Halloween is your favorite holiday of them all. So we finished the trees. Tomorrow we have a very special project. My sister-in-law gave us a mini playhouse for the boys that her kids used to use, Nicholas and Sophia, but they have grown out of it. So it has been outside. It is really dirty and a little outdated. So we gotta revamp it, refresh it, clean it, and give it a brand new look and we're going to add it as part of our Christmas Christmas wow where's my head at part of our Halloween decorations this year it'll be interactive it'll be something that the boys can play with and maybe I'll use it for Christmas too Okay, I gave this a primer. Now we are going to give it a top coat. Black. Nothing like a fresh coat of paint. Now, as you can see there, I started to go over it with the prime primer that's black instead of white. Whoops. Okay, I got all the pieces painted. Put the windows back, how cute is that? And now I'm going to assemble it. How cute is this looking? I just gotta put the roof on. All right, it's late. Boys are asleep and I'm about to put some of this beef netting up on top. I'm gonna climb on that huge ladder and put this beef netting up because it is almost Halloween and I am not done with Halloween decorations. So I need to finish. Beef netting is something that I wanted to add this year. I've never worked with beef netting. I wanna hang it up on top and have it drape like spider webs and make it look scary. Let's hope this works because this is Okay, as you can see, I did the first strip 
we still gotta cut holes there, but looks interesting. I feel like it needs a lot more. All right, I am 18 feet from the ground and it is a nice hot night in Miami. I'm sweating up a storm. Nothing says fall like Miami. It's so hot, but it's looking good. I like the way this is looking. All right, that's what it looks like. It is late. I still have to do some more over here. I'm tired, so I'm calling it a night, but that's the update. Okay, another night, another part of this Halloween transformation. I underestimated how long this uh, beef netting slash spider web was going to take. It's taking forever. Right, so I want to put some on these jeans here. Got a little hole. Oops. The ghost moved the camera. Sorry, I have like it ghetto rigged here so it could hold up. And it's not. All right, let me just finish this. There's nothing to it. You cut holes in it and you drape it from the trees, which is what I'm going to do now. I look like a madman. Okay, so I'm jumping the gun here a little bit, but I was in the creative zone and I just went with it. So the trees, I covered them and I have like these little creepy uh, spider webs hanging. So I love the way that this looks. And now, so I stood from far away and I think I'm gonna do some up like connecting the trees, kind of like an arch. <laughs> I love that. I have like a love hate relationship with beef knitting because it's beautiful. It's like super artistic. It, it almost looks like an art piece, right? Like this art, beautiful abstract art piece, but it is definitely time consuming. So not done, but totally digging this. Love it. Okay, so this entrance looks badass. I love the way that that came out. I am going to bed. It is very late. I am exhausted. I am hot. There's a trend in this vlog and I am almost done. I'm almost done. I definitely have to fix all of the extension cords because I have a hot mess right now. Not proud of that and it's just kind of all over the place. I have to figure out some of the lighting. It's so humid. The camera doesn't even focus. <laughs> okay, I uh, have to figure out some lighting for the little house and I think I'm almost done. I think tomorrow I'll be done and we can have our grand reveal. Looks good. <laughs> I will say these little strings are not toddler proof. I can just see these <laughs> Devin walking out every morning pulling on these. So after the reveal, I might have to cut those because they will get destroyed. Okay, family, I really didn't want to do this, but with the design of this year's Halloween decorations, I felt like the pumpkins stood out too much and I needed to paint them white. I really, really didn't want to do that because they're just classic pumpkins, but I figured next year if I wanted to, I could just paint them orange again. So these guys, these guys are all being painted white. It breaks my heart because pumpkins are orange and it's classic and I will reuse them year after year. But I figured when I want to change them, I just change them. I could probably just remove the paint. I don't know, but here we go. Hey boys, you ready to see your Halloween decoration at night? Vamos a ver las decoraciones? Yeah! Let's do it! First we're gonna show our YouTube family and then at the end we will show the boys reaction. It has been very hard to try to keep the boys away from the little house that's sitting outside of our house. But today they will play one, two,
¿Qué son esos regalitos? Wow. Thank you, he said. ¿Quieren jugar en la casita? Limpia, nene. Limpia, limpia. The witch's broom. ¿Te gusta la casita? Say bye. ¿Qué es eso? Pumpkin, sí.